Hey guys, it is Max here and welcome to part two on how to make poetry with a twist. So at the end of this video, I will have a bonus thing that actually one of um one of our fans in the community actually provided to me. Um, but I will show at the end of the video. Make sure to stay tuned as this is a really important way to get into your poetry flow. Even if you don't want to learn how to make poetry, I still have a poem in here. So it's really a win-win-win. Um all around and we still get sunday's uploads so we have two uploads which is insane gonna be a really 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 big day as well but here it is so part two how to make poetry with mask um so step one make a poem that relates to your environment basically what i'm trying to say about that is not on bad grills and welcome to the school no i'm saying basically you're going to do is if you're at a comic con minecraft mansion you wouldn't say Terraria is better. No, you don't. It's like, you have to match your environment. Same with if you're a YouTuber like myself, you want to talk about the three things politics, finance, finance, and religion, as that's just a social thing that you shouldn't talk about, anyways. Well, at least not with people that you really know. But, um, and then two rhyme words. I spelled rhyme incorrectly because I thought it was funny. I don't know. Don't try me, but I do not spell rhyming. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. <laughs> um, step two, work on making sure everything in the poem makes sense. Basically what that means, and like some of these might be confusing, so you want to make it fluid. The beginning and the end have to be on the same level. Let's say that. Like, if, like for example, in a movie, um, my, one of my um, teachers told me this, um, in movies, um, it go it Cinemax goes like down, then up, up, and then usually it goes down, and then it spikes like while it's still going down, and ends the movie, or it flattens back to the same level as it was, and then ends the movie. That's how it works. You wanna if you let's say you're on this on the first level, and you went to the sixth level, fine, and then you went to the fifth level, fine, and then you went to the sixth level, fine. You can't end it like that. You need to end it at the first level. I would suggest, especially newcomers, just be on the same level. But like sometimes people can bring spikes into their poetry, which um spikes meaning like different tone to it. Like it was happy day till ashes and fire destroyed all the land of Disney and Universal, where the kids would play in the sand. <laughs> no, um, step three: check it with a pro or higher skilled poet or friend. I kind of. Regret saying high rank, it can be a low ranked. Honestly, I don't care. You can ask me. I I'm a one hundred percent source. Even though I'm probably like you know someone that doesn't like I'm I'm learning with people. That's the thing about it. Like when I, someone asks me a question, it's not they're learning. I'm learning because I'm learning. Oh, that's a good question. Or oh, you brought up this word. Maybe I can work with that more. Oh, brought up this rhyme where I could work with that, something like that. Like, it helps me. It's just an endless open cycle. So if you have any questions about any of the poems or how I made them, leave a like and leave a comment about it. Or just comment, honestly. I don't give an issue, but comment um, what your question is. Um, if you want the fastest um, answers, um, Twitter is my only social media. And I have a Gmail that I hardly check, but I will check eventually. So, Gmail and Twitter, both of my first page. I suggest Twitter, though, as it's the fast and most reliable source on my channel to contact me. Um, so, that's, but also, with friend, get a friend that's not like, oh, I don't like poetry, or I love poetry, and they'll slide. Get a friend that's like, eh, could prove, like, Someone that's bluntly honest. Like, it's just, like, you need someone that will be like that. You can't have too many people like that because honesty is what makes the world round. It's not some um, a covered of lies to make you feel better. No, it's the truth that really helps. So, um, step four, optional. Um, I always tell every single friend because, um, when I was in elementary, I'm um, right. A lot of people asked me, um, like, any advice how to make poetry because at the time, I was still pretty good at it, and I'm still pretty good. I'm just saying, um, 
and they're like, um, well, I usually ask them like, find a bass, like find an artist, and they're like, well, if you're, well, if you're my artist, I'm like, then re- read one of my poems and just go through. It. And I've had people that done that, and they've done find another poem and start a bass from that. So like, let's say it's like, the crocodile, the alligator went through the sea. You would be like, couldn't they go through fluor or or Stewart and then um one of the names were Gluer, like tinker with it and then more you tinker you will find wait I could actually build something off that and the thing about that is you can't steal it and you can't just remix it you have to try to make it your own but you have to, at the same time that's why it's, I say it's optional because it's kind of complex but at the same time it's not if you're good at l- looking at things and then getting a good base on it and then making something original of it but getting something from tinkering with that then that'll help you otherwise it might be confusing um but here's the poem so the blue square is actually my typing thing right and it got in the way and i didn't get rid of it because i forgot and i'm very sorry about that but that is a i a capital i so i'm gonna read this um you can uh, i hope um, the best way to, for me to tell, or for you to know how much, how, my sorry, my goodness, the best way for me to know that I did a good job in poem is you guys comment and you tell me what the poem was about. The end it kind of tells you, but I just like saying it. So here it is. I entered the base where I had to face the Lord of Nords and make them defend his fort. In mid-battle, people took our farm's cattle, so I got on my horse's saddle to end this stupid battle. And I was kidnapped, trapped in some shackles, so I was locked up and did all I can, can but all the fighting I could do was blocked. As steel covered the door, I had knew for sure that we had lost the battles of dwarfs versus norts. Okay. Um, that's almost the end of the video, but, um, like I said, like how I was explaining at the beginning, and the title says, there's a special at the end of this, and this is actually something that's submitted by one of our, um, fans, and this is actually awesome. Um, it is, and I still can't, like, get my head through it, but here it is. This was, um, sent to me on Twitter. Um, the artist will be l- linked in the description as well as my gratitude as this is just so awesome just look at that like um i would do a comparison but i'm just lazy at it <laughs> but um you can look at it right now because i'm i change it i'm changing my pile pitcher and i'm making um a bot i'm using this pile pitcher and i'm going to also um make a banner as well with this on sunday with the upload so Make sure you get a good eye on my old one and this one. Um, this is really neat. Um, all they told me was they added some text with their uh, cool font here. Um, then they added some shading. They made a base, um, kind of like using the original. I I don't know how they do it, but or I'm just really guessing. But this is just I'm speechless. Like this soon, I'm I'm not even at 200 subs, and I already have myself some fan art here. So. I appreciate so much, dude. Um, keep up the hard work. Give the guy a um positive feedback on this video. Um, as well, he does some good content. Um, what he does on his channel is a little bit of everything. Um, the the guy you wouldn't find one th- one of the same thing on this guy's channel. He has um done gaming. He does how to. I think he does all sorts of things. So, if you really want someone that you know, you wanna show your support on my behalf and you want to just say wow that's really good i i think you should keep up the work or any something like that make sure to check that link in the description it will take you right down to it um pre- i really do appreciate it as this is our first fan art so that's how i'm gonna end this video here um sunday there's gonna be a banner and this as the logo for this channel how crazy is that um, so it's gonna be a busy day Sunday. So, besides that, this has been masks. Make sure to drop a like as 
needed to show the support in the community, leave a comment, any comment, I read all of them. And, as always, if you're new, or just browsing the internet and you want somewhere to stay for a bit, subscribe as this is a pretty good place to be. As we have a good community, and as we see, we have some fan art artists. So, make sure to do all those three things. And then, the fourth, if you've done all of those, would be follow me on my other meters or just share it out. Like, tell your friends, tell everyone, you know. That's, well, that's what I really love to hear. But besides that, this has been Mask. Thank you so much for watching How to Make Poem Time. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.